Who would win in a head-to-head race between me and you? And how would the race pan out? Well, I can sort of answer that before she even answers, which is that we did race head-to-head and she beat me. But maybe, okay, let's do two different scenarios because I think that this is an important thing. One will be a 70.3 and one will be an Ironman. An Ironman, which is a race that I've never even done in my life. (laughs) But let's just talk about how the race will pan out. You know that I love you and that I have a lot of respect for you and I want the best for you. That being said, like when we're on the starting line, I want to win and I think that I will win. Probably is what I would say. In 70.3 and Ironman? Well, I don't know about Ironman because I've never done one. So my my take is that, so I, Chelsea's a much better swimmer than I am. That's just the way that it is. So I'm pretty much everybody's a much better swimmer than I am. So I'm going to come out from behind. Um, I would say that I would outride Chelsea. And Chelsea is definitely a stronger runner than I am. Um, but I think depending upon the conditions, it could potentially play in my favor. So I think that if Chelsea and I got off the bike together in like a foot race, generally she's going to win. So like I would probably put the money on her to win, but I think that there is like a scenario that could play out where I won in Ironman. I think that I would win just because I think that I have more strength and endurance and resilience than Chelsea does at this present time the thing about the Ironman though is if that if if you caught up to me on the bike which I don't necessarily think is it I'm not saying it's a given but let's say you catch up to me on the bike and I would just sit behind you for the whole time I would try to sit behind <laughs> you for the whole time 